and we're back. And that's why no one will pick up my <laughs> monster fan fiction slash porno. I have I have been writing it for years. Look, Send America, me a link. I'll I'll read it for you, bud. It's a damn shame. It's good. American, American, <laughs> why won't Wood Rocket contact me? They'll make anything. They yeah, made, they will. They made a SpongeBob. <laughs> Wood Rocket made Tug Rats, okay? <laughs> oh no! Sure oh yeah. not. Oh yes. Why will Why will Wood Rocket not get back to me about my monsters porno? <laughs> it's that's, probably that's like we like things that are at least somewhat reason. topical. <laughs> yes, yes. Because Ten Inch Teenage Ninja Turtles was topical. Wood Rocket, thank you. Look, well, also look, with you with the Frankenstein, I think, I think like, the la- <laughs> you have the possibility of new parts, right? <laughs> Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. <laughs> Look, Rocket <laughs> made the SpongeBob SquarePants porno. Okay, I am. They'll they'll buy anything. Why won't they contact me? Anyway, so I was going to say, I was about to say, you know who's a huge fan of Wood Rocket's porno? Clancy. Moving on to the game. <laughs> See, you guys learned a new thing about Clancy. I like him even more. <laughs> this is not I don't anymore. What's his favorite? What's his favorite? What's his favorite? His, I mean, I, I, the, the the really horrifying Pokemon one. Strokemon? Strokemon, that was it, yeah. Where the girl is like in already. a Pikachu costume, but it's terrifying looking. Her name's Dikachu. Whatever. <laughs> Get her right. I'm, all right, bye, guys. <laughs> Get her over here fucking writing the wiki of fucking when, when, Wood Rocket when, Productions. When are we going to start recording? I definitely don't know <laughs> off the top of my head. <laughs> okay, so um, pretty much after um, after talking to the wise man, um, they guide you back out. More or less the same thing. They get it. They get roughly a, a good distance away, and you know it's like right barrel. Hold our hands. Close your okay. eyes. When you open it, um, you're like maybe you know maybe like a five minute walk from the car. You're a little ways into the woods. Right. Um, back in back in the real world, so to speak, a little less colorful, a little less extreme. I'm okay a with that. A little less safe? Question mark. I did. I didn't necessarily feel safe in there, <laughs> so it's it's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> Clancy goes. Do you ever feel safe anywhere? Are you saying? I mean, now not now? really. <laughs> after uh, after learning what exists in the world, like yeah, I, d- I basically never feel safe ever again. <laughs> he's, like, well, the, he's like, well, the good thing is that's not your world, so you don't got to worry it's about that. It's just sort much. of encroached <laughs> on our world uh, without us. I mean, I didn't go looking for fucking ghosts to come to to our house and and shitty wizards to like I don't know enthrall people or something, but like it happened and. Well, speaking of the wizards, that's a uh, that's a weird thing to say, no matter what. <laughs> He's like, um, we need to get in, on the horn and arrange a meeting with everybody, because um, this is we we'll let you guys know a little bit on what we know, and so you guys can form a battle plan a little bit better. Okay, uh, we may have to be a little clandestine about it because. Um... Old Jeb is uh, kind of buddy buddy with this weird pastor guy, and he's supposed to be, you know, like investigating Peter, but um, but not in a hanging out with him kind of way. So, uh, so maybe we can figure well, something. Out. He goes, well, don't don't the three of you guys live in the same apartment complex? We do, and there is actually like a meeting room. So maybe I, unless they have agents posted in our <laughs> in our building so, that I haven't noticed. Do you- they, they don't. They don't. St- I mean, they stand out way too obvious. You know, like wearing the pristine white shirts and the and the and the neckties. Yeah, the like, little teens are <laughs> fairly he's obvious. Like, he goes, "All right, um, there's still like there's you know the day's not over on this. Like this didn't kill like a ton of time." Mm-hmm. He's like, um, "Let's get in touch with them and see if we can't meet later on in the in the evening and see if we can't have a little powwow." Okay. All right, so I will. I'll shoot a, a message to everybody to say, "Hey, can we try to meet up at the the little meeting room in the apartment building? I can um, hit up Miss Powell if we need to. I don't. Is there a key to it? I'm not really sure. Uh, actually, um, Beryl, Bar- have you checked your phone since you got out of the spirit world? Uh, I mean, I'm just <laughs> checking it now. You, you'll notice you'll have a text from Peter that just says, "I found a baby." <laughs> 
question mark question mark question mark <laughs> Is this in the group? Is this in the group chat? Yeah, yeah this is. This is <laughs> yeah, you, you, you know, we're going to go with that a little bit. So, so, um, yeah, Jeb, you've seen that for, you know, the past maybe 20 or 30 minutes. <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> is he just going to let that hang? You don't even have to respond. I just want to know what Jeb's thinking when he sees that. <laughs> Jeb's going to look at it and do honestly what Sandra will do and then just put the phone down and just... <laughs> 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 just what are you supposed to respond with? I that's why I had to just go question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> like what? All right, so I guess that will be covered in the, that, that will be covered in the group meet as well. Skip ahead in time. Okay. Um, uh, Destiny's there too. She uh, she ordered a couple of pizzas from. Uh, um, there's a little. There's a. There's a little Caesars in town. It's oh, it's fuck. a call it. You don't yeah, order it, pizza from Little Caesars. Look, yeah, you I, did I, just I, walk I, in and grab them. <laughs> look, due to what's going on right now, I found out you can, in fact, order Little Caesars pizza. Though why you would want to, I don't know why. <laughs> and also order Chuck E. Cheese pizza. They're going. Yeah, I, 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 I <laughs> almost ordered that. And on a side note, I was like five dollar. Oh, no, no, don't try it. I almost they're did. Like, I they're sure marketing don't. it under different names now. No, apparently, yeah, apparently, like, um, they're about to go bankrupt and, like, all the stores might be shutting down. Oh, my God. Well, what are they going to do with all their ball pits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Samuel, there's so many gaming companies that will buy a ball pit. I just want to know if I can buy one at a cheap rate. <laughs> they, they, they just fish out the, smell like out of the ball pit. You know. we'll, yeah. we'll talk after this. I might be able to. <laughs> we'll keep it off the grid. Let's go put my parents' backyard. They'll love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, she okay. She goes and picks up a couple of pizzas from those Caesars assholes. So she's like, "All right, it's not great pizza, but you know, it's college campus and it's free pizza. So you know, deal." Um, remember when I was kind of spacey? I like this me, me better. <laughs> so anyway, she goes, uh, <laughs> "Hey, girl, hey." <laughs> um, she goes, "Okay." Um, first off, I guess before we start talking, um, Beryl was saying a, a baby, Peter. Oh, Peter hasn't arrived yet. Mm. Okay. Uh, you, have I gotten gonna... a reply in the text chain? Oh, no, no. But is, is, I'm assuming, is there like a door on this meeting room? Or what's, yeah, what's yeah, the there's meet? a door. Like okay. Back... Yeah, this is like where you guys, held... Yeah, this where you guys kind of... held the game room. I mean, the, the game night back at way when we first started this. But Peter this. didn't show Peter up. Peter was not that. there at that. This is this is true. This no is true. So, his apartment. so I guess everyone's there. You hear a knock at the door. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'll go up in it. Oh, and, yes. Uh, cool, cool. Peter's still with his mask on and like a tiny head covering over, over Bast. Golly. <laughs> like just uh... comes in and closes the door behind him. And he's just. <laughs> you okay? I, I threaten children. The baby. Um, also, wait. There, there was something about a baby. Okay, um, um, hang on, hang on. Do you want to sit down? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Destiny's like, you want some pizza? I brought some pizza. <laughs> oh, uh, I did. Let me, let me just, and Peter just sits down. Okay, breathe. <laughs> Jeb cracks a beer and slides it across the table. <laughs> Peter, like, kind of grabs for it, but misses it a bit, and then gets it. And, and at the same time, while he's sipping from it, he, like, takes a little head covering off Bast. <laughs> I, I probably didn't need to put her in disguise. They they know her. But uh, oh <laughs> and he realized he's still wearing his mask and he's like That's why I felt hot. Okay. <laughs> Jeb, thank you for this. Um mm-hmm. so I went back to the uh to the to the skunk ape house. Um uh Snowflame, the uh, the skunk ape we kind of become friends with, uh uh might have some relation to, to one of the pastor's children brothers sisters maybe a sister but but i i i broke in i broke in the basement i i oh god um i couldn't break in at first but then i had to go to flanagan's and then i broke in you went to oh, flanagan's oh, we, don't, we don't say that <laughs> word here peter uh, uh, mm, i'm saying it peter <laughs> i'm i'm so sorry i'm trying to keep up our whole thing uh, that's right you're right this you're right is, this well, is in the service of the greater good that's right all right you're right you're on. Well, I mean, at which point clancy's looking he's like that's a really nice crowbar you got 
Are, are, <laughs> she <laughs> daggers at Clancy. Careful. Daggers. Um, oh, so, sorry, so, sorry, sorry. The house is is better now. It's cleaner now. Um, um, I I'm gonna have pictures when I develop them. But I broke in the basement. It's clean. There was like a a a, a, a summoning circle. Uh, a, a, a ritual space, and and I just there was a baby. Um, the baby had had cataracts. Its, its eyes were 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 milky. And hold and... a second. The, hold a second. The GM is going to woodly woodly woodly. Actually, it did not at the at the uh, at the tent revival. The cataracts were gone. You did not see the baby though. So we're going to rewind that a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I took pictures of the baby. You did, but it didn't have. Ca- I mean, obviously, a baby being in the, in that area oh. would be weird. But yeah, so. Rewind a little bit, sorry. <laughs> and and then after I got some photos, um, kids showed up. Uh, one of them was the guy that beat me up, and I threatened them. And then I left, and Snowflame helped me leave, and now I'm here. That's a lot. Uh, I I have some stuff to tell, but but let's unpack yours first. <laughs> I there there look, we are dealing with something. That is, that is magic. Why are they using a baby to summon? Was the baby alive? The, it was sleeping. It, it seemed okay. You left it there? I was about to say, would you like to show the picture of the baby? Because, <laughs> I mean, they might be able to, at least, at least oh, Jed might right. be able yeah. to be like. I do have my, like, instant Polaroid thing, so I guess I do have the pictures. <laughs> yeah, Jed, Jed can, uh, can, um, can um, at least instantly recognize that that's the baby from the thing that had the cataracts at one point. <laughs> So he pulls out the Polaroids and kind of puts them on the table. This is fucking weird as shit. That, I mean, I knew this shit was weird, but that's that's the baby that uh, the, the pastor uh, uh, healed. It, it had cataracts at the tent revival when y'all were you know outside, and I was in that. That's God. I, I mean, I've seen a ton of babies. And then he I, I think that's the baby. So so that that baby had contact with the pastor. Yes, sir. Because the, the 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 kids that came, they uh they, they were talking about uh, uh it being a bad situation or or it being weird, and they didn't want to deal with it, and and uh, this is all very strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's been it it done been, but it's it's so so you left the baby there. The baby's still in that basement. I I. When the it situation- sounds like it was a dicey situation, right? When- I'm, I'm, I'm just happened. making sure it's, it's, it's still it was- down there because it had a family. I can't remember. I don't know if it was a mother or an auntie or something, but it had someone that was like, it's looked like it's guardian. So where is that person now? The baby just by itself in the basement? I, Jeb, I'm, I'm not particularly proud, but uh, when, the, when the situation all unfolded, it was, uh, it was me, two young people, and I, I had to make a decision. And, uh, I, I get it, Peter. I'm, yeah, I'm not trying to bust your chops, but I'm trying to figure out you know, how that baby got separated. You know, I feel bad for the baby, but also you know, how did it get by itself in that basement? That's weird. Yeah. The, the, the only I, I was like, at which point Park, he's like, what if somebody took the baby there? Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> possible. I young kids. So... Hmm, that's it. why is their guardian not reported this baby missing? Right, right. Yeah, that's, like he's like honestly, the... my hands are kind of tied with all this too, because like I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't, I'm not really familiar with where you where you went, Peter, but like I mean, he's like obviously I'm not going to bust you for this kind of thing, but that's breaking and entering. Um, so this house is abandoned as fuck, dude. Like it was overgrown. Uh, um, I, I, not, but, not, uh, not, not anymore. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, well, that's, when we, that's, the that's first the time we went in there mention, is that if he's if he's saying that it's cleaned up, I mean, I don't know if somebody owns it and they've just started rent, like there's a lot I don't know about this kind of stuff. So, but I mean, the fact that they have a baby that's that's interesting. <laughs> well, 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 there's there's that. So we need to figure out how the baby got there. Do we, do we go to the guardian and see if the guardian's reported it missing? Did it get stolen? Did they willingly sacrifice it? Give it up, you know. And then, yeah, uh, can, what about Snowflame anyway. being a, a sister? These are <laughs> these are two big ones. Part goes, yeah, part goes, and that's the other thing is, I mean, unless there is a file for a missing baby, there's not really a whole lot I can do. And like, I mean, if I if I go on what you're saying, Peter, I mean, the next question is, why were you there to begin with? 
So like that's it's it's a dicey situation. And these folks are already sort of been gunning for Peter, right? I mean, they beat his ass at the yeah. at the uh, museum. <clears throat> well, I, I mean, I I was tackled to the ground. I don't know about. This. I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to get into semantic, uh-huh. but like the, the they sent people after you is what I'm trying to say, and they asked Jeb to like observe and report about you. Like these people are keeping a close watch on you. Look, I mean, there's ritual circles here. They're dealing with, like, these miracles that Jeb has seen. They're doing things and then Mm -hmm. dealing with people afterwards, maybe. I don't know. But, like, there's a space in his trailer that's, like, a a concealed space that's bigger than his trailer. Like, like we, we have to be dealing with some kind of magic here. We're dealing with another shitty wizard. He's like, I don't know if which, seems pretty good to me. At, at which point, um, Clancy says, "I guess that's, I guess that's where we need to chime in with what we mm. and Beryl talked with." Yeah, that um, apparently what's going on is is natural, but but not natural in some way, and that it is not tied to the spirit realm, which is apparently unusual because literally everything is tied to the spirit realm in our physical realm. So I don't know if that means the space in that in the trailer, like that's somehow outside of the spirit realm. I don't know. So uh, here's here's the thing that here's the thing about being a werewolf in terms of like magic and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we haven't dealt with sor- with a lot of sorcerers. Um, we don't really trust a lot of them, um, mm-hmm. but. What we know of what they do is they is, they they essentially rewrite the way, the the way that reality works, and they like I said, they deal with spirits all the time. Um, and what they do is it is considered natural. So I mean, even though even though it, it can be extremely bizarre, and I mean we've we've seen some shit, some weird stuff uh, on the few occasions we've encountered with uh, sorcerers and stuff. They, um, but it's still like it, none of it rings as like an abomination or anything. Mm. And you know, that's what's interesting about what the old, what the wise man said. I mean, it's not spiritual. Magic is the ma- magic is spiritual. It's not you know it's not spiritual, but it's natural. That is a really confusing line of dialogue is there like a space between i mean obviously i'm not super keen on these you know the realms and stuff but is there a space between the spirit and uh, the the physical reality <sighs> he's like well i mean if we're going to get like in the deep metaphysical stuff um there's the physical world that we got there's the spirit world that we can go to mm-hmm. um there's a realm that <laughs> ghosts essentially live in that um We've always heard it called the twilight. It's basically like a reflection of here. And we've heard some people talking about like descending into the underworld, which that's that is way beyond me. Um, I've heard of like gates that can lead there. We don't mess with that, though. I've heard some people talk about um, beings that are located deep in the woods that if you follow, tra- you know, the trails they leave, you're never seen again. Or you're changed if you do see if you are seen, but like all of those are still like I, all like uh, the people I've talked to in regards to that like it's still considered like part of like the natural order, like the wise man, you know the wise man saying that it's it's natural but it's not spiritual. He's like that's that that's very confusing to me. I mean, if it's, if it's natural but not spiritual, the only thing that's been a part of this that's unnatural is that damn computer. Yeah, mm. right? Um, that's really got us confused. Um, <laughs> you, say, you said that you saw a, com- like a computer screen and you got, and you got like Sasquatches and, or my mistake, skunk apes. Thank like, you. Like, we've, we've never seen any of that. We've scattered out a little bit around there. Um, through the week, maybe we need to go on the weekend to see if you guys, you know, yeah. see the kinds of things you guys have. There is a computer in the Skunk Ape Temple, and then within the pastor's own weird dimension church, there's a bunch of plugs. 
and I feel like if we had messed with either one, we might have truly messed with something he's up to. And uh, the the computer screen, it basically like it's static, like that it glows different colors every time we've seen it. So like the first time it was what was it blue? Mm-hmm. And it was like purple, yeah, like yep. green or something. Yeah, green. I think. Yeah, it's been a couple different colors every time we've seen it. And um, and then there's the whole Donald Duck thing, which is just fucking random as shit. That's so weird to me. That's Why so. Why Donald Duck? Goddamn. Just off the wall, <laughs> like. Why not Goofy? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gorsh. <laughs> oh gosh, Mickey. <laughs> um, um, I feel like we kind of need to hit one of these leads of of the baby, mm-hmm. or try to figure out more on Snowflame being a, a sister of a family member. I, she did react to the family photo in a certain way towards one of the, the youngest sister. Mm-hmm. So, so, you know so, so, that's. That's the other thing, not to interrupt you, but that was the other thing that the wise man said. Um, As I mentioned, the closest approximation I could for skunk ape or any any kind of Bigfoot creature or anything, um, the wise man, he he pretty much said that they're part of what's, you know, again, it's natural, but it has no spirit resonance. And the weird thing is we've seen... We've seen we we've seen like skunk apes and Bigfoot and Loch Ness monster, whatever else you want to say. We've seen those kinds of things on the side on the spirit side. If people believe in something hard enough, there's going to be like a reflection. We've seen that, but you know the way that the wise man was talking, those things would not have any kind of resonance in the spirit world. These also, um, we tried to set up some cameras. To see if we could capture them. And we were never able to. So maybe that's why. You guys aren't seeing anything when you go up there. So I'm wondering like if we go up there on a weekend. Like are are you guys just going to be blind to like. Are you not going to see this like these, mm-hmm. these pews and everything that we like. Is it just going to look like a clearing in the woods to you like. That's that's really interesting. I want to yeah. I want to go yeah, with because, y'all because they're spiritual creatures. You know, y'all, y'all wolf folk. You're spiritual yeah. creatures. So, so if it's not of spiritual, but it's kind of natural because us humans are more natural than spiritual. I would think at least. And so that's kind of like, honest, at which point Parky goes, well, you know, that's the weird thing. Um, souls exist. I mean, you know, I don't know what you guys think on religiously or whatever, but souls do exist. Uh, humans have no reflection in the spirit world. They affect what goes on there, but there's no human spirits over there. Well, that just just you know kind of points even more towards that snow flame was once you know human or something else, and has mm-hmm. now been transformed. You know, mm-hmm. so that would kind of show why she's not spiritual, but it's a bit natural. Um, so there's there's some sort of you know hoodoo going on with with you know transforming people or transforming things into other you know critters what, uh, what about this what about this what if you guys want to do maybe one more scope out through the week we can we can see what's going on on the spirit side of things during an actual revival and see if we're and you know we can check out you know this skunk ape. is there an actual temple out there like did they actually build a temple it's well, not, not like, like a brick and mortar. Yeah. More but, like a. No, well, I mean, they're, they're, they're putting in some pews every now and again. I mean, it's it's kind and of. They've sort of dug out a pit something. where the, the, the computer monitor is at and where they, they seem to put the little offerings of the Donald Duck stuff, right? Yeah, it's I mean, more like, like a I, thing. I, I guess we'll Yeah, I guess we'll see it when we see it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go over there and scout out those kinds of things and then we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can find on the spirit side. But, like, what are you guys going to do for, for the next week? I, I think, I, well, for me, I'm going to try to, you know, keep doing the kind of normal stuff. I do think I need to feed um, the pastor and his you know, entourage uh, uh, some sort of information on Peter that's a little more juicy. 
Okay. Um, so, <laughs> you read Sex Tales of Pete Urquhart. <laughs> I walked by his apartment. I heard some things. Would you like to hear? <laughs> um, and it I mean, smelled like lasagna. It smelled like lasagna amongst it's other a real Garfield things. Garfield party up in there. I, I, I mean, if you, if you want to tell them about my uh, failing business and my former <laughs> relationship that's leading to that, I, I think that's relevant information. Okay. All right. Well, then we'll, we'll I'll give him that and see if that appeases him. Tell about my skin suit. He's <gasps> oh, like, um, at which, which point, uh, Park's like, uh, Peter, one, why do you still have that, too? Um, no, don't tell him about the skin suit. I mean, what was yeah, he supposed to do with it? <laughs> yeah, he, he knows you. It's, it's some sort of spiritual thing. That's... <laughs> I'm I'm going to display it. I mean, how often do people see a skin suit? It's not like you're just going to put that in the trash, right? Because that right. thing is creepy. It needs, skin. I mean, I don't want to see it personally, but <laughs> it's fascinating. Peter, you should burn it. You should, you should burn it, and I'll do it for you. But what if it's like a spiritual oh, fire to burn it? What if it doesn't burn under normal circumstances? I'll, I'll say a prayer on the, the, the gasoline that I pour on. It'll be holy holy gasoline. And, uh, okay. about right. it well, if you want somebody to bless something, apparently Clancy can at least bless knives, so yeah. he could so, probably bless your gasoline. So, yeah, Clancy goes, you know, all joking aside, here's the other thing, uh, mm -hmm. talking about, like, magic and stuff. Okay. Um, one of the sorcerers I met back in the day was, uh, he was, he was, part, he was a member of the clergy, uh, old Catholic fella. Um, and this guy had seen all kinds of crazy stuff because of, you know, what he, what he could do, the, the other, uh, the other wizards and such that he knew, mm -hmm. but he still kept his faith. And, you know, according to him, like it was all miracle work that he did. But you know, it still resonated on the sp in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So that's what's even more confusing is you know if this is you know this whole tent revival thing, but it has no like magical resonance on the spirit. You know, mm -hmm. And back in, over in the spirit world, like that's that's what's got us really confused. And I'm just I'm going to be conservative and say worried right now and not scared, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's it's something that none of us have seen or seen or heard of that kind of thing. Destiny Destiny says I can um I can put out a few feelers and see if anybody else has bumped into anything online. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I, I think my time will best be spent trying to do as much research on uh, miracles, I guess, uh, religious type texts, things I have in my library. Perhaps I'll try to find out what I can about uh. I don't know. At this point, I might look into alchemy and transmutation. Mm. Oh, well, I mean, that sounds like a good good idea because that's the kind of, I guess, the direction we're going in. Or thought mm. it is. At least. But, Jeb, you have to keep the, him from sending more kids after me or whatever. I, I feel like I already took a big step this time, and I, I'm not, I wish you guys were there to see my convincing disguise and accents that I escaped <laughs> with, but I am a bit worried they might see through me. Yeah, well, yeah, you're, you're pretty suspect, so yeah, I'll, I'll try to throw them off your tail. I think you're know, telling them that you're just, you know, a failing business owner and blah, blah, blah. I think that'll, uh, that'll, that'll help. Um, but hopefully one day we'll get to see that, that beautiful display of, of, of disguise and um, stealth and mimicry. Uh, a, a ninja display? <laughs> I, I believe it was one of my best performances yet. Okay. And then Peter literally right. just shoves an entire piece of pizza in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we'll, oh, we'll, wow. keep you, we'll keep you guys posted and get in the event that we see anything as well. Um, okay. But yeah, just, you know, keep your... I don't know what in the world you guys have dug up, um, but... Something big. Yeah, keep, keep, yeah, keep, keep your ear to the ground. Weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I, 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 something tells me that if they're kidnapping kids or if, if they're kidnapping kids, that's bad enough. By the way, this is part talking. Um, <laughs> he's like, you know, if they're kidnapping kids, that's bad enough. But like, if the kids are being willfully given for whatever reason. Oh, did we mention the whole uh, bleeding from the hands thing? You got, what? 
Oh, um, yeah, he looks like it's basically like kind of like a stigmata mark on his hands and stuff. And that's he touches his hands to people to um, to heal them. And then some of his followers have hands that also bleed. But they're actually like bleeding. And they're like actively like like they wrap them up in um, bandages all the time because they're always just sort of like oozing blood. And yeah. then some of the people just wrap them up in bandages because they're like hoping that it happens, which is fucking bananas. Yeah, and, and, and when incredible. you shake the pastor's hand, that that that, that spot is just otherworldly feeling. It looks so nasty. It feels. He, Park, Park goes, yeah. I'm, I'll I'll go over there. I'll find a reason to go over there and poke around just as a cop. Um, we'll see what we can do with that. But yeah, just um. Oh, low battery mode. That means it's time to wrap things up. <laughs> he goes, but yeah, you guys just just keep your ear to the ground, at least until next Sunday. <laughs> right there. Okay, nice ham-fisted segue there. <laughs> all right. I hope you all had fun tonight. Always. We, it was great talking and, and playing Peter again. Just, Peter just eats another piece of pizza. <laughs> I'm gonna give Peter's just been just double fisting it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna let y'all go and probably go paint for a little bit and then go to bed because I got work in the tomorrow. Not in the <laughs> they, morning, but tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> I got work in the morning. I do as well. Finally. <laughs> Yay for work. Yeah. All right. I'll take it easy. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye.